How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you guys are new to the channel or new to the series and you're wanting to learn a technical side of streaming as well as how to grow, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you ever need to reach out to me, my information is going to be in the video description below, so be sure to go ahead and follow me on my other networks. Now for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the chat box. This allows people to be able to have the chat on screen. That way people can go into full screen if they ever wish to. So to set this up, what we're going to do is create our scene and we're going to go over to source, click on the plus, and we're going to be looking for chat box. So this will be able to be worked for Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and it's just really handy. So what we're going to do is click on add source and then we're going to give it a name to add source again. And as you can see here, this already kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what you're working with. Now, if you ever need to adjust any of the size, like the box, or maybe it's too tall and it's not able to fit into a, an area that you want it to be in, and you don't want to really shrink down the overall like properties of it, like you don't want this to get really, really, really small, I'm going to show you how to work with that as well. So as you can see here, this is the little box that I have, right? This is the normal that you'll have, the 600 by 600. Don't even worry about the FPS, that's not important. So let's say that though you wanted this to kind of fit inside of a box. So you can do that by adjusting the width and height. And as we go through here, I'm gonna be showing you how you can also mess with some other things. So you adjust the width and height towards the end. So let's go over here to the source and settings. So for your visual settings, this is where you're going to be able to kind of determine if you want it to be more like clean or if you want it to look something like on Twitch where it's going to be something like that or maybe you want it to be more old school and it's kind of retro and then you can also try you know chunky which is going to be something like that. Personally boxed for me is what I like the most because it has this separation between each one so it makes it easier to read and it makes it easier on the viewer as well. And then you can go ahead and you can add in these extra things. So if you want to show the like the moderation badges, if you're on Twitch, same thing with subs, turbo, all the way down. Now this may be a little bit different depending on where you're streaming. So this stuff, inf this information here might be a little bit different for you. The, the background, I don't even touch. I just leave it as it is. And then you can have always show the messages and stuff like that. So we'll, we can leave all of that as it is. So if you go into the fonts, you can give it a font color. And then you can also give it the size. Now do remember that this is something that you're going to have to adjust if you adjust the actual width and height of the box. Because it, what it will do is it will kind of make it a little bit smaller. So you're going to have to adjust that so it is going to be able to be read. So for chatters, if you want to hide commands, you can definitely do that. And same thing with like muting a chatter. I'm assuming with the muted chatters, it's going to be something like uh, not necessarily banned but maybe timed out or maybe certain like bots and stuff that you don't want to be showing up in here and then for source if you ever need to refresh it due to some type of problems like if it's just not displaying correctly or if it's kind of lagging for you you could try refreshing it and see if it see if it works so now that you kind of understand how that's all set up let's go ahead and actually kind of mess with it a little bit so we're going to leave it as it is and then we're going to say done. So if I wanted to mess with this, what I'll do is I'll see if I can get the chat to actually let me do something. All right, so let me clear this up and then let me see if it will work. Test. All right, so as you can see here, it shows the name, shows what I typed, and it shows where I was streaming from. So it shows the mixer thing right there, right? Okay, so let's say you wanted it to be like that small, but now you see how that is really tiny. So if we right click on the source and we go to properties, we're gonna go back to font settings and we're gonna increase the, vol the like not the volume, but like we're gonna increase the font size. And as you can see now, the box is a little bit bigger but you can actually read the text. So if you needed this to be a little bit longer now because you know these boxes take up more space, you can definitely do that. So let's make this let's make this height a thousand. So now the height is a thousand. 
and we're going to hit done and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do test again and now I have all that extra space now so more messages can come through but now you're able to see that it's able to go into any box size you want you just have to increase the actual font size so that way it can be read and everything like that when people are in full screen but that is pretty much how you set up the the chat box I like it I've used it in the past I even have it actually right now on my IRL tab whenever I'm getting ready to start the stream and stuff like that or if I ever do like IRL stuff so I already have this already working I really enjoy it it's really handy and I think it's something that maybe you guys would also find useful as well but if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to the channel, new to the series, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and follow me on my networks, which you can find in the video description below. I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.